Hi, we're here in Clare, Michigan, and we're checking out a cultural icon here that's made the national news a few times. Almost had its own show on National Geographic. Yes, yes, they've almost had a reality show based off this. Um, what is this, the gift shop for the place? Yeah. Yeah, this is the gift shop for the bakery. Look at that. And it's got the tin hammered ceiling still. This is called the Rhodes Block. This is one of the older buildings in town, and it's very cool. Um, I haven't showed you the name of what the story is yet either, have I? World famous Cops and Donuts. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And we're here. We're here to get our donuts. There's a sign up there, the Cops and Donuts. There's the other sign there that you can kind of see. Historic Clear City Bakery since 1896 was in danger of going out of business when a police officer actually purchased it and changed the name to Cops and Donuts. And I guess several of the police officers are involved in running it now. And it's it's just a cool place. And lots of people feel like they need to make this one of their stops every time they come through town. They also have sandwiches and stuff on the side. It's devolved from not just a donut shop to actually a gift shop, restaurant, cafe, and general hangout here in town. And we're going to go inside and have a look around. This is great. A car. I love the comp pie. Like 15 bucks, so that's a lot of money for a pie. Ah, look at this. Very nice little cafe here with some retro stuff and some old time photos of what the store looked like years ago in the late 50s. You're watching them make the donuts. They take the cop and donut theme seriously here. Yeah. I just love the antique ornamentation on the roof and stuff. This is really cool. Local police officers and official cops and donuts merchandise. Along with, oh, oh, oh. There's a book about the Purple Gang. And the history of the county. And, oh, this is great. Very cool. All kinds of police related stuff and donut related stuff. Bandanas. Cops for donuts, bandanas. Back of the blue bandanas. That's so cool. And then the rest of the gift shops over here. We got a little memorabilia thing for the police here. <clears throat> well, and as I say, if you're ever in Clare, Michigan, I highly recommend a stop off here to Cops and Donut, Michigan. I almost missed this, a little collection of antique badges, handcuffs, uh, some more badges up here. Trying to get a good view here for you. Not a great view with all the lighting in here, but just show you a brief view of what it looks like so you can know what to look for when you come and see for yourself. All right, Dominic, where are you at? I'm in jail. Uh huh. Donut jail. I'm doing donut time. You get donut it? Donut time, yes. Well, the keys are right here, so you can just reach through and grab them and get yourself out. We can't stop without showing you the map of where all the customers over the years have come from to visit this place. Every possible point in Michigan is pretty much filled in. So is Ohio and Indiana, Illinois. It's not quite so filled in, but look at that. Just pins from all over the country here. This is amazing. Well, here we are with our box of donuts from Cops and Donuts in Clare, Michigan. And we bought about a dozen assorted ones. We got a custard filled, a long... Uh, Vanilla cream filled, a couple of glazed raised, and a couple of jelly filled. Just an assortment overall of things that we like. And I have to say, no one here in our family was very impressed. You know, the store was kind of cool. Souvenirs were interesting and fun. Uh, but the donuts themselves really weren't that great. I mean, honestly, I would say that 
uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Tim Hortons Donuts um, are all better than this. The local bakeries in your small town, our local bakery here in North Branch, Michigan, does way better job. Um, I've had many, many better donuts than these. There's really nothing special at all about them, and I probably would never buy them again. But it was still a fun place to stop and say hi to the very friendly staff and the super clean and well laid out store. So um, maybe other people like them better than I do. I'm not trying to be negative about their product. I'm just saying uh, we none of our family really liked them or thought they were very special.